Hi everyone, Pat Doherty here with your Tennis IQ topic for today. We're looking at breaking serve. Now, breaking serve requires a bit more patience and allows you to take a little bit more risk as long as you're holding serve effectively. So the numbers we looked at earlier in the week where these guys up the top are winning nearly nine out of 10 serve games, you're not gonna break them very often. But on the flip side of that, breaking serve, the numbers return games won we got two, the top two players are above 30%. Okay, so let's talk about that number for a second. If both players serve four or five times in a set, all you need to do is break serve once in that set as long as you hold and you can win the set and avoid the tie break. If you get broken though, now you gotta be able to break twice. So if you consider what one out of four is, that's 25%. One out of five is 20%. So somewhere between 20 and 25% is the minimum on average you can afford to work with if you're trying to avoid the tie break. If you're like John Isner, you play super on your serve games, win almost every one of those, but he struggles to break serve. So if you look down at Isner's numbers, he's at 92% winning percentage on his serve, but on the return end, he only breaks 7% of the time. So what we typically see happen to Isner is he winds up in a bunch of tie breaks. Very stressful way to win your sets, having to go through a tie break. All it takes is one mini break against the Isner serve and he can lose that set. So he would really need to work on figuring out how I can get that number up to closer to 20 to 25% and stay out of these tie breaks all the time. So, once you get above 30%, you're averaging almost two breaks a set, if not even a little higher than that. So it becomes very, very difficult to, to take a set from these guys when they're winning eight to nine out of 10 serve games, and on top of that are capable of breaking you on average upwards of twice per set. So that explains why these guys are dominating at the very top, because they're great on both ends of that. So don't neglect spending enough time on your return of serve skills and learn how to be diverse with them. Work on chips and blocks as well as drives. Um, and be patient because all you need is one out of four or one out of five there. You got to keep your spirits up because it may be easier to get those breaks early in the set than it is late in the set. But later in the sets when the nerves start to kick in and that server could get a little tight and you might find that for all opportunity to break. But you got to be still in, in the game mentally to take advantage of that opportunity. Work on it.